I jumped off the porch, nose was leaking his snots. Hemp was leaking from the leg, big homie was shot. BG caught a couple in the night to the top. All my relatives been acting since when niggas was tossed. Ten of ten brothers home, what was happening is fuck. Say that's my brother, motherfuckers, you ain't ride with us. Keep a sh What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Rob, and today we back in the shop, about to get working on the Elko. Um, I'm gonna use this opportunity to get working on the Elko because um, it's gonna be 70s all this week. So, um, like I said before in a previous video, that the Elko sits outside, obviously, you know what I mean. Um, but I'm gonna use this opportunity to get it in on the Elko. There's only a few loose ends that I gotta tie up before the car is ready to like actually roll and drive and stuff like that um and i'm not talking about uh the stuff that i stated that i want to do to it before but as far as like the wiring and stuff um that's what i want to address today so i want to get the um back tail lights um rewired or not rewired but i want to cut them shorten them up and um go ahead and solder the wires together uh, i was supposed to do that a long time ago but when i took the back bumper off and put the roll pan on there um the the wires like they hang down because they're like a little bit longer and then also too they're not buttoned up um in the wire loom um notches or whatever it's called i don't really know what they're called but they hold the wire loom or the wires un underneath the bumper and since my um, roll pan doesn't have that the wires are kind of just hanging so i want to cut them shorten them up to length and then solder them together instead of using butt connectors and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and do that um and then also too inside the car the whole um wiring situation that i have now my current setup is pretty much a fire hazard and it's like that because um when i first did the wiring in the car i was in the condo complex and i had to hurry up and um wire the car because the car had to be mobile um so that they weren't trying to tow it because i got notices on it said that it was an inoperable vehicle which wasn't the case at all but you know what i mean i had to make sure that it was moving so that they didn't come and tow it so <clears throat> i haven't touched the wiring since then and that was a few years ago so uh i'm gonna address that i'm gonna put it into the the fuse block that i got uh, off of amazon my only dilemma is where to place a fuse block so we're gonna go ahead and address all that stuff today like i said it's nice so we might as well get to it and then um we might even get to drive the car so um if everything goes according to plan i'll go ahead and get the wiring dressed up and i'll go ahead and throw some oil in the car because i'm sure that it's lost a lot of oil and um we'll get the car on the road i'll take it for a spin and you know we can enjoy the elko for a little bit i haven't driven it since probably june may or june so yeah it'll be a nice little treat to drive the, the el camino for a little bit um and then you know keep on going and i wanted there's another issue that i discovered um when i looked up under the car what was it a couple of days ago um it's starting to rust underneath the car and it's like a lot of service rust is no like no serious rust but i want to get up under there with a wire brush and get everything all like all that surface rust off of there and spray paint the under undercarriage of the car at least in the back side of the car so that you know it doesn't get any worse and it looks a lot better so we're going to address all of that obviously that's not going to happen today but i want to do that soon and maybe when i move to my new location that's what will do but anyways let's not start let's get into the video y'all um if you are stopping by for the first time go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification if you know what i'm saying so you get all the videos when we upload another video and also please you guys you know what i'm saying if it's not too much to ask go ahead and share it with a friend that may like and enjoy the videos so anyways let's get to the video and let's go ahead and knock this out today all right grind schoolers so here's what i'm talking about um this little thing right here that has all these positive cables right here um this was my little quick fix solution to like getting the car just started running and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna address all of that um a lot of these things uh are not really necessary um because i'm gonna go with uh, edelbrock um edelbrock gauges all up here i'm going with their dash and it has all of this stuff like the tachometer the speedometer um feel you know what i mean um i don't know if it does air fuel mixture or nothing like that but 
you know who knows we'll find out soon enough um <clears throat> also to uh the negative one is down there just kind of hanging loose um so what i did was i got this fuse block right here and what i'm gonna do is probably put it up under there um up under there and out of the way uh and then just put my center console will just go wrap around that but i think that will probably be the best solution because these wires potentially can reach that far and it will be out the way so i'll go ahead and attach it there and so that it will be a lot safer than just right here and like you know my leg sits pretty much excuse my feet sits pretty much right next to this uh like positive outlet thing and i don't want to get shocked while i'm driving and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and address that like i said it's been like that for years i just never really addressed it and now it's time to address it because i want to start driving the elko <clears throat> and all this wiring up under here is, is pretty much brand new <clears throat> those wires down there for like my uh window wipers and stuff like that and then all these wires in here that are wrapped up and taped off are for my speakers um that are also not hooked up so um as I showed you guys before, when I do these panels, I'm going to put the speakers and the kick panels down there. Um, so I'm going to just build my own fiberglass it in. And then when I get this, this situation taken care of, um, we'll go ahead and start hooking those wires up. But for now, I just want to get these wires into that block and then those um, ground wires into the block so um we'll go ahead and address that and get that done and then we'll take the car for a spin all right grind schoolers so this is what i was talking about with the wires like hanging down on the ground they're like super duper like long so i want to cut these and then um shorten them up so that you know they're not hanging like this so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, splice into them, and um, go ahead and solder them together. But uh, as you can see, it's kind of super duper like rusty. And obviously, this is normal. You know what I'm saying on like a car of this age. You know what I'm saying like. But I kind of want to clean it up, paint it, make it look nicer. But what I did discover, and this rear end is trash. Uh, that's coming out anyways. All of that, the rotor. I mean the. Um, the drum brakes all that stuff is coming out but obviously all up in there i want to throw the wire brush up on there get all that stuff cleaned up and paint all of that stuff and then obviously the control arms all that stuff is coming out eventually and we're going to toss it um shocks included everything's coming out so um i'm not too tripping on it too bad but um we'll go ahead and get all of that stuff done and then um yeah we'll get to painting the car i also don't think i'm going to notch the frame because i don't want to compromise the integrity of the car we're just going to have to figure out how to you know get some nice wheels up under here and probably roll the fenders out or something like that um but yeah so that's that's going to be what's happening um you know to come i guess when i move into my new garage all right so i pretty much got a treasure trove of wiring so when i wired first wired the el camino um i basically cut all the wires obviously the length um and i kept extra wires just in case like i ever needed some and obviously in this case i need some so um i went through all of this and the only wires that i'm gonna hook back up are the ignition wire and the power wire so um i went through and found the wires that i need and um, I'm gonna hook those up and the gauge wires obviously I'm gonna get rid of because I'm going with a whole totally different setup but um, I found those wires and we're gonna go hook that up um, and put it in a different place in that fuse box and we should be good to go and then I'll drill the fuse box into the um, transmission tunnel because um, I think that's the location I'm gonna keep it at this street up under this um, up under this center console and then yeah so we'll go from there and keep on working keep on getting things completed all right so here's the ignition wire i'm about to cut it splice it and extend it so it gets over here this is my power cable i believe that goes into my fuse box that looks like it has enough length 
to get right there so that's good um the rest of these this is one's for my speedometer my gps speedometer um one of them is for the fuel gauge and the tachometer um i don't think i'm gonna hook that stuff back up just because of the simple fact that um i'm i'm taking it out and i don't really want to hook it back up over there uh so I, I think i'll leave that out and then i'll take all these ground cables out and then just attach the um, ground cable that goes into the uh, back of the wiring harness and then i think the rest of these are just ground cables for the gauges and um, i'll take those out as well so i'm removing all the gauges but i'm just gonna hook up the ignition wire and the power wire and we should be good there and then we'll get the car back on the road and moving around all right y'all so let me show you what i did so basically um see how these wires are hanging down like this um basically what i did was i just cut them spliced them you know um these are my tail lights or whatever cut them cut them spliced them i'm going to solder them together put some heat shrink on it and shorten them up so since i went with this uh roll pan um the roll pan is obviously shorter than the bumper and obviously the roll pan doesn't have the little um the little clips inside of it inside the bumper here to hold this in here so i had to shorten up all the wiring uh to make it look nice and pretty it's been hanging like this for a while um so i'm doing that now and i was hopeful to be able to drive the car today but i don't think that's gonna happen because i gotta run to the auto parts store and get some stuff but uh that's what i did outside the car so these wires won't be hanging no more and then on the inside of the car um i got my uh i got all my wiring taken out for um the negative side for all the the gauges so these gauges here um turning signals and all that kind of stuff like i said i'm taking those out and i might sell them so um depending on the situation um and how far i get with getting the edelbrock or the holly um terminator x system will depend on when i take that stuff out but um pretty much all i did was i found uh my ignition wire in that box of wires like i told you guys and so i have my ignition wires hooked up so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna solder that put some heat shrink on it and then um, i'm going to measure the length and then i'm gonna hook this into the fuse block and then i'm going to uh nail or screw the fuse block into the transmission tunnel um and then i have my ground cable which is right here um i gotta take this connector piece off and make it smaller because this is too thick to go on the fuse block so i gotta go to the auto parts store and do all that um i'll probably rewrap these wires uh with some more electrical tape just so that you know i don't have any issues like i said those are my speaker wires and i don't want it sparking in the car but uh for the most part everything is pretty good copacetic car is almost ready to get back on the road um i think this is to my air fuel mixture i'm not really sure um not 100 percent sure on that or it might be actually um my reverse uh light or whatever but i have to see um so i'm trying to basically clean all this stuff up um get all this stuff like tucked in and wrapped up and um put together i haven't done too much with the wiring like i said before uh because this car has been sitting and stuff so that's what i'm doing now that's what i'm doing today so that um i'm ready to just get in here snatch this dash out and do what it do with it um yeah so i'm gonna just try to make this as pretty as possible as safe as possible because the way it was it wasn't safe so yeah we're we're knocking it out uh i was hopeful to get it uh started today and driving today but um as you can see in this fuse block i need some fuses um i need some fuses and uh those tail lights obviously i need some heat shrink and stuff like that so we're almost there hopefully i can drive it tomorrow um i might just drop this video today though just you know to have some content out there but for the most part we're pretty much wrapped up inside of here so 
let's get a uh, let's get in the house let's um get to the store and get what i need and then uh this project will be wrapped up and all the wiring would be good also i got to take out this wire uh this wiring harness here or this wiring here this is the old wiring to my tail lights um, in the back I was never able to figure out how to get it out and then there's some wiring here too that's mixed up that I gotta rip out too um, I never was able to get it out but um, I'm gonna do that as soon as possible um, and keep moving on this El Camino Alright grind schoolers that's gonna do it for this video um, I hope y'all enjoyed it just like always um, it was nothing really crazy, nothing special, just some little wiring that I got to clean up in the El Camino um, just to keep progressing on the build. Um, so now that the wiring is pretty much wrapped up, cleaned up, um, and you know, safe, it wasn't safe before, but now that it's safe, I can hop in the car, drive the car without being paranoid about, you know, getting shocked or a fire hazard or something like that. So. Um, the wiring in the car is all new. So from the, the engine bay to the inside of the car to the tail lights, it's all new wiring. Um, I did it a few years ago, but like I've stated before, I had to um, hurry up and do the wiring because in my apartment complex, I had to keep the car mobile. So I had to do like kind of a quick fix and I just never got around to like fixing it or addressing it because it worked and I just, I don't know why I never went back to go do it um, despite my dad telling me to. Um, but now that um, I, I ordered the fuse block and everything like that, I was able to get it done. So now we'll move on to better things, more interesting things. Um, like I said, that was just something I had to do and since it was nice this week, I decided to go ahead and throw um, that in there and fix it and get it ready to go to my new house and now that um, that's done I probably won't have the El Camino on the channel too much um, besides doing some driving um, here and there because the weather is going to start getting a little bit colder I'm not going to pull the car into the garage to work on it because um, I'm about to leave and I'm about to move but once I do move I think the next thing that I want to address is what you guys saw in the video under the undercarriage of the car I want to get the wire brush clean that stuff up and paint it um, so that it looks better underneath there and then um, continue doing the body work and then get the car painted so um, stay tuned for all of that uh, if you guys haven't already hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video also if you enjoyed the video go ahead and share it with a friend or two um, I greatly appreciate that thank you guys for all the love and support we're halfway to a thousand we're getting there we're growing the growth is starting to pick up a little bit so um, thank you thank you thank you guys so much um, also like I said I'll be doing a giveaway at a thousand subscribers don't know what it'll be yet but I will be doing that and then also so we are going to bring something else to the channel so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that and hit that bell notification so you know when it happens so um yeah that's all i have for you guys today but uh always remember work hard so you can live free